Friday the 2nd of September, it's the evening, it's about um, nearly 9 o'clock in the evening. Uh, I put in a phone call about two hours ago to uh, Essex Police 101 service, the um, non-emergency number, just to follow up on a few things uh, and just to try and get the last officer who, who visited me at my home to contact me back. Uh, and also to double check about the flagging system that had been put on my home phone number and my mobile. Um, now, a flagging system basically means if I was to call up from any of those numbers, uh, even if I wasn't uh, talking or anything else like that, they would still turn up. Um, and this has been this is, this would, had been put in place uh, about six months ago, um, as I'd been for the last nearly year I've had things happen like I've been attacked I've had all sorts of stuff happening and um you know all of this stuff I've got evidence of ridiculous. it really is ridiculous I'm trying everything I possibly can and not a single person is going out of their way to do what they were doing for me five years well how was it five years ago four or five years ago before I was transgender because this magic word transgender means I cannot be helped it's a um an injunction order against my ex-partner um, this is before I came out as transgender I had no idea what was going on I it, basically all I did was I went into the police station I told them what he was doing um, how long he'd been doing it for they took a statement they took a video statement um, he got off from doing this by the way but they gave me two numbers one was for women's aid and I think what was it the National Center for Domestic Violence I think it was um, now this here and I could tell how quickly this was done because I was still in hospital at the time. I was in hospital for about four months. Um, and um, this was all done without my say-so, really. Well, not without my say-so, but I was advised what steps to take and everything else. My doctor, actually, that's the only other person who's... he. When I go to my doctor, as I said, on, it's on the ground floor. So when I go to see him, he has to actually let me out the back door and watch me cross the road because he says, if something happens to me, then at least one person has seen it. Yeah, look, just to show that this is broken again, you're supposed to put the fob on, but... That's the thing, they force it, they pull it. They pull it so it forces open so they can get in. Uh, this was apparently put in place about six months ago. Um, when I checked, I think it was about three, four weeks ago, uh, it either had not been done, which kind of explained nobody turning up before. Okay, once again, I'm having to hide from people. That would be the ones up crossing the road. That would be the one, yeah, they're circling back now. Okay, I'm going to keep walking, I'm going to keep filming though, because they're going to probably follow me. And they said that they would put it in place again, if it had even been done in the first place. Um, and as I said, that was about three, four weeks ago that that was done again. So my, both my home phone number and my mobile were set up for this system. As I said, I've just literally come off the phone to Essex Police a couple of hours ago. Um, and this is one of the things that I checked. For the second time, that system has been taken off of my phones and I don't know why. I don't know why you would do that when you know full well that I'm being attacked, when I'm reporting being attacked. Your officers are actually checking CCTV and the CCTV is A, not working, or B, it's not pointed in the right direction. So what the hell are you doing taking those flagging systems off my phones for? What are you doing? This is about time that people start hearing about what's going on down here. It's blatant and outright discrimination, as my social worker has just said as well. Um, I've now got a social worker, as I said, like I've got a social worker now involved. There are uh, several other people that know what's going on and it's disgusting. It's beyond disgusting. The people that are supposedly uh, preaching about all these equal rights never seem to enforce them. What are you doing? What are you doing? Plain and simple. It, you either protect the people or, you're, or, you, or you don't. And at the moment, you're not. And it's about time somebody started speaking up for the people that are not being protected when they damn well should be.
invincible. Yeah.